I'm glad you brought up uh, two key and, and kind of the shifting. Um, and, and the reason why I think is because being back in the provider world, I am finding it extremely difficult to take in all of the predicted cut points from our health plan organizations and work with something that is realistic. Because I, as a provider, want to help these health plans succeed. Because if they succeed, um, we're going to succeed as an organization. But I am finding it extremely difficult to take all of those into consideration and provide one level of um, expectation for my my clinicians, you know, my my clinical team, because they don't want to see all the different varying cut points or thresholds or percentages. You know, why am I a four star in breast cancer screening for health plan X, but I'm not, even though the compliance percentage is more um, for health plan Y. And so I am finding it extremely uh, challenging being back on the provider side, working through those complexities. Um, I'd love to hear, and I'm sorry, am I taking your, your role now, Rex? I'd love to hear from Jennifer hey, thank you, uh, thank how you. they're working with their <laughs> providers on this. Stefan will be happy. You're good. <laughs> Um, well, I mean, to be fair, I think it's a little bit more nuanced because I think you driving stars at your, you know, it, it's different than how our other providers are used to engaging in terms of stars because they're not as engaged. They're not as informed. And we're finding our struggle is educating our providers on stars and their changes. So I don't know if... Um, you know, even our largest provider partners, they're, they're not looking at stars in the same way that you are. So I don't know if I have a good, a good answer for you. Um, but, you know, as we're evolving our incentive program, we're not, we're not using star threshold to measure provider performance. We're really just basing it off of numerator and denominator. And that's the conversation that we're having with our providers because, you know, for them, they're not seeing the bigger picture of stars and we're not measuring them on a star threshold. We're measuring them just solely on compliance. Um, so that makes the conversation a little bit maybe easier, at least simpler for now. Um, so I don't know if I have a silver bullet for you, but I think um, our approach has really just been, you know, where is their focus? Their focus is their patients. Their focus is gap closure and overall health outcomes. And that's kind of how we frame it. And instead of, you know, here's where you're at in star performance, um, really honing it into that patient relationship that they have. 